Hello and welcome to Urban Chickadoodle. My name is Melissa. If you're new here, welcome to our flock. So in today's video, we are going to be setting up a hydroponic system from our friends at Let's Pot. I am super excited about this hydroponic system. I love hydroponic systems. They're perfect in the winter time when you cannot grow anything, or they're perfect in the summertime, springtime, when you're trying to start plants indoors. If you want to check out this hydroponic system, stay tuned. I just opened up the box. These came in it, instructions, stickers, that kind of stuff. This is the normal plant food and the guide to how to use it. The neat thing about this one is you can use it on your phone. So it's totally hooked up to your phone, which I love because sometimes um, I don't realize the water level's low or I forget about it or if I'm on vacation or whatever, it will let me know. So this part is the LED light. Top part you just raise up. And then usually everything's inside. Yep, everything's inside. And then this is also the water level. And what I like about this one compared to some of the other ones is it comes with this kind of protector around it. Sometimes roots tend to grow around it and it doesn't always work great. It comes with the center, the basket, comes with the gum, and the plant food. Well, you always want to start out first by plugging in your electrical. Okay, so this electrical cord, let me show you. This one uh, goes just right into the pump part. And then this one just goes into the back for the electric. And then you can put these on if you want. And then I'm just going to kind of put everything together. Now, you just want to put the baskets in. And you just go in all of them, or at least all the ones you want. If you don't want them in every single one of them, you just put this on there. It just makes it look nicer. Um, and then the sponges just go right in the baskets. You want to take your plant food and you want to fill these up with water. I usually fill it up with filtered water. Anyways, you want to just fill this up completely with water and then just kind of let the plant food dissolve in the water. What I like planting most in my hydroponic systems is usually herbs, just because I, I usually keep this right in my kitchen, and so then I get to cook with fresh herbs. Now I'm gonna take my plant food and I'm gonna measure it all the way to the 15 right here. And luckily it comes with a measure. So I'm just gonna pour it to the 15. And if you can see the difference in the color, you can tell it has the plant food in it and I'm just going to pour it right in there and do the same thing with this one. And I'm going to actually bring this inside because I don't want to fill it too much with water until I have it where I want. I went ahead and plugged it in and I am just filling it to the max line with filtered water. And you might notice this is going up. And so this, you can also tell when it's like the max line between this and then this as well. All right, it's pretty good as the um, sponges soak up, the max line goes a little bit lower, which is why I'm filling it up just a little hair more. And then I can just go ahead and put this over the top. I'm gonna go ahead and put my seeds in, which is basil, cilantro, and oregano. And since I have a farm stand, these are perfect because then I can sell people fresh herbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick just a few in each one. And if I want, every time I put seeds in, I can go ahead and put these guys in if I, you know, especially so I know that I put seeds right there. And then I can label it oregano if I want to. But usually when they start growing, I pretty much know what it's growing. So these are just the teeniest, tiny seeds. And next, some basil. And that's my favorite herb to grow. Let's see, where is there more room is where I will put my basil. And I'm going to put the little domes on top of them so that it's the greenhouse effect. All right, all the domes are on. And let me show you. I went ahead and turned it on and it automatically goes on vegetables and pump. But if you have flower seeds, 
you can press it on the flower setting. It does, I don't know if you can see it, it changes the light. But I'm gonna have it on vegetables because obviously I'm growing herbs. And then you can go ahead and set it up to your phone if you want to. And so we'll come back and check on the progress of the plant. And after about a week, as you can see, they're starting to come up. The cilantro hasn't come up yet. Hopefully it will. All right, so after a few weeks, this is how big my basil is, my oregano. My cilantro never came up yet. Sometimes cilantro takes a really long time. And this spot, I totally realized I forgot to put any seeds, so then I just went ahead and add, added some lettuce, and it's doing good too. But yeah, so it works really good. I'm really excited, especially for the winter time, to grow fresh um, ingredients, herbs, maybe even flowers in the winter time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or a link to the product is in the description box below.